We're going to be looking at the quadratic formula and how this relates to the axis of symmetry. We've already looked at the axis of symmetry when completing the square and now we're going to be using the quadratic formula. So let's have an example of a function y equals x squared minus 4x. We're going to have two roots for this function and we know that we can find this using the quadratic formula where the a value is 1, b is minus 4 and c is 0. So plugging these into the quadratic formula and tidying this up we're going to have 16 minus 4 times 1 times 0. Well, that's just 0. So that's the square root of 16. On the denominator, 2 times 1 is 2. The square root of 16 is 4. So we've got 4 plus or minus 4 over 2. We can split that up into two fractions. So 4 over 2 is 2, plus 4 over 2 is also 2. So we're going to have two solutions, x1 at 4, and x2 at 0. There's x1 and x2 at 0. The axis of symmetry occurs at the point that lies exactly halfway between the two roots. And this is halfway between 0 and 4, which is 2. So the axis of symmetry lies on the line x equals 2. Now that's x equals 2 relates to the 2 here. And this is given by minus b all over 2a. And we can just check this again. So b is minus 4. 2a is 2 times 1, which is 2. Minus minus 4, well that's positive 4 over 2, which is 2. And so we've got an interesting part of the quadratic formula, which is the axis of symmetry. If we inspect the quadratic formula and we split this up into minus b over 2a, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, then we've got two parts to this formula. We've got the minus b all over 2a part, which tells us the axis of symmetry, and then Plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a tells us how far from this axis of symmetry the roots are. And we have two of them equidistant from the axis of symmetry. One on the right hand side and one on the left hand side, which is why you've got plus or minus. So if we have a look at a generic function, quadratic function, then we're going to have the axis of symmetry through the centre which is given by minus b over 2a. We're going to have our first root, which is the axis of symmetry, take away the b squared minus 4ac over 2a frac fraction. Then we're going to have our second root, which is the axis of symmetry plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a fraction. So let's have a, a quick example. Find the axis of symmetry for the function f of x equals 2x squared plus 7x minus 11. Well, we can compare this with the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx minus c and see that we have the axis of symmetry at minus b over 2a, where b is 7 and a is 2. So 2 times 2 in the denominator will be 4. So the axis of symmetry will be on the where x equals minus 7 over 4, which is minus 1 and 3 quarters, which is minus 